it's tough, especially this time right now. It's a it's a very difficult time for us Latinos. Uh, we're good people, and that we're here to do great things. So all that bad criticism, I want to turn them into something positive. First was not speaking the language, and second is speaking with an accent. Um, the first battle was with myself, because I really thought that I would be lucky to get rid of my accent and speak. I was so frustrated also as a Latino, going to castings for roles that were always kind of the same. Sometimes people have a specific idea how Latino looks, and then they will say that I didn't look Latino enough. We Latinos are Latinos because we are a mix of everything, you know? It's a scramble of people, that's what Latino is. So we look all different colors, shapes, forms. New York is a, is a city of immigrants. This is a country of immigrants. And a lot of immigrants come here with the dream to be performers. You reach a point as an artist where you said, I'm not gonna fight the industry. I'm going to be here for the industry if they wanna work with me. But I don't need to keep trying to be in the industry. I can create my own industry. I can create my own material. And then instead to be me chasing the industry, there may be a day when the industry is going to be chasing me because they get interested in what I've been doing independently. I, I did have two years, no, like, yeah, almost like two years struggling with my own identities because I did want it to sound so American that I stopped speaking Spanish for a while. So my work was not where I wanted it to be at the moment because I was fighting against um, against my roots, taking in the fact that, you know, I will always have an accent and it's okay. So how can I take in um, a new, different language without judging myself, which still happens, you know. I always have an accent and that's okay. That's what makes us unique. And, and it, it is going to be a struggle, but it's a gift. You know, it's important for us to take it as a gift. If it's a Latino character, it needs to be played by a Latino. But people are just taking a stand, not just artists, but people. They're saying, no, we're not going to stand for this anymore, Hollywood. If that's a Latino character and it's written as a Latino, that needs to be played by a Latino, period, the end. Otherwise, we won't support it. That's the big thing here that we have to call to Latinos to do is support our work. Support Latino characters and stories, but also the stories that are written, produced, directed by Latinos on television, in film. One of the biggest challenges we still face is that we attack each other. So whenever a Latino is successful, we criticize and attack them instead of supporting their work. We, are, we come from a culture, uh, the Latinos, that's very colonized. So many of our countries have been colonized. And Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, we still have that mentality of feeling less than. And so when we see someone that rises up to more than, we kind of want to bring them down. And it's not a pointing a finger. It's just an awareness, a sense of, wow, this person is rising up. Let's support every movie he writes and does, or theater. Let's stop complaining and go and support. Go to where it counts, box office. And then that will change the studio system. We are too slow in this process in the Latino community. Too slow. So we need to kind of speed it up. For me, it's having an accent. I don't think, I don't look like Latina. So like the typical Latina. I know that we come in every color and size, but for me, it's hard because I'm, I don't look like what is the prototype of a Latina in Hollywood. And that kind of like backfires a little bit because then I have an accent and I don't look Latina, so they don't know where to put me. Yes. Another struggle I can mention is like we're not united, so we're not united enough to work. And like maybe the African American community is. And I'm really, really, really grateful to, to pioneers like Limelo Miranda who's making it out there for us, and to other Latino actors and actresses out there, playwrights that are really showcasing us for what we could be, what we are. And it's still a struggle, but I feel like we are moving forward. But I feel like we need to support each other as well, support each other's projects. I think that's very important. You know, we can't complain and stay seated. We have to speak our voice and support. Coming from my, where I come from and my own experience as an actor, I found it very, very uh, nice <laughs> because I never had that opportunity in my country. For, my, for Venezuela, I, I looked uh, gringo <laughs> and for here I look Latino so I'm, I'm, I'm glad to be playing other kind of roles and you know uh, getting to do everything.